Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Corbett, and I'll be your host today for Europa Universalis 4. Welcome back to episode 37, I believe at least, of the Battle Pope in 1.30. Very ominous music in the background. Land of Imperialism is the name of that song. Very fitting for what we're doing here today. As we aim to uh, carve out large chunks of China here today. So let's continue. We're not quite done our war, as much as I'd like to be finished here. We have a little bit left to uh, just to just to finish off here. I don't want to overextend my ships, so I'm just going to do something kind of like this. Of course, the war goal is always very easy to to get through here. I'm surprised they're at medium and not low yet, considering the battles they've lost. Yeah, and uh, why do I still have colonies? Let me get rid of those, because I don't I don't colonize very easily. Oh, we have a glitch there. Hold on. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really on that whole colonization thing. I think it's needless separatism when I'm not prepared to deal with it, so... Well, separatism. It's, it's not really. It's more like native uprisings, but I didn't, you know, plan on them, so... It's not very easy for me to just uh, deal with those on a whim, you know? I'm just bring these guys in and, you know, swap out their duration at sea timers. Uh, let me keep converting some things. Ning would like peace. Well, I would like large portions of China, so we might be able to align our interests here. Um, who's fighting those? You try to... F I mean, hell, I'll go in for it, sure. I'll attack him. Maybe I won't, because they are so gosh darn fast. Okay. Sure, maybe I won't be attacking those today. I will do that, though. There we go. Another fort sieged. This is a weird trend of 90%, but they're still at medium. Hmm. I feel like it's mainly because it is the type of CB that we're working with here. I also should not have gotten rid of that 25 admin. That was a poor decision. You guys can berate me for that if you want in the comments. But that was a terrible decision. Alright, 98%. Nice. How clean would it be? You already know where I'm going with this. Uh, if I took just like half the coast. How clean? Not clean at all. But that's the best part. Or I could just take southern China. Which is also acceptable. I wouldn't feel so bad just taking full states of things. I mean, it's 108. If I'm taking 108 over extension, you bet I'm going to be going a little further. 108? Nah, 121 or it's bust. Max war score or nothing. If I'm going to be suffering through that much, if I'm going to be suffering through that much overextension, I'm going to be suffering for the long run. I'll be taking that, thank you. I thank you very much. Papal South China in one war. Looking pretty spicy, I'm not going to lie. This is also going to make it significantly easier for me to convert all provinces in here. Now, a smart player who planned to continue playing would use this um, after imperialism and after they've taken more land than just this but I'm just here for the sake of cleaning up a couple things here I'm just for the I'm just for the, here for the sake of cleaning up the good old mission tree so I'm gonna just uh, grab that real quick and see if Ming would decide to swap religions as well it would be funny I don't think they're going to but again, I find deep humor in that. Deep humor. Oh, that sounds weird. Deep humor. Yeah. That was a weird thing to say. Alright. This is already Catholic, surprisingly. Did we change a province to Catholic? Or what, what happened here, actually? I'm curious. I find it would be a lot more interesting, actually. If not only um, does it, like, swap, but, like... If they don't 
change state religions, I'd find it very fascinating if instead um, you could spawn like a center of, of religion for Catholicism. Although you can understand how definitely broken that would be, but I find that to be uh, an interesting discussion about the possibility. Okay, so we've taken Papal Southern China. I'm rather pleased with our progress here. I think what I'm going to do is move back to Europe because we're around a tech and a bit. Yeah, just a, a tech and a bit from being able to use imperialism and destroying the whole of the HRE. Oh, there goes a stab rip. And there was also a promise I made once on stream that I guess I'm going to have to go and take the one single province of Guayaquil over here, I think. I said I was going to do that. I uh, might as well. Sure, I guess I will. So we'll have to invade Portugal and I'll end up taking that. Looks like Portugal doesn't really like me. Yeah, we're allies, but they're not a fan of me. Hmm. Fascinating. I also find it kind of weird that uh, these guys are still in this coalition. And I finished the war with Ming. Not sure what the power move is on that one, but okay. And how about the general unrest? Yeah, it's probably good to leave. Let's leave two here. Um, yeah. Let's send these guys back home. We'll have these guys watch over our newly gained provinces in southern China. Okay. And we'll send you guys back home. Alright, beautiful. Starting over here, of course. And then here, and then here, and then here, here, and into here. Great, we'll have you group up for the new template. Just create a new one real quick. I wish I had more manpower, though, that's for sure. I also wish I had more governing capacity, that's definitely for sure. Because boy, does that hurt now. I also haven't caught any of this, I should do that. That's what a smart person would do. Um, Rebel Uprisings, Cheng Sheng. Yeah, that was really fast, actually. You guys are already really upset about that. Hmm. Can't possibly imagine the reason why. Okay. Let's also move this army back over here. So we'll have a total of 292,000 men. Pretty respectable. Do we have Battle Pope? We do have Battle Pope. So I could take an extra leader for this guy. Uh, we have Cheng Sheng already, which is over here. So I'm just going to have you move around like that. These guys will, you know, eventually realize that there's no point in moving. And they'll move back. Eventually, they'll realize. Or maybe they'll go and siege it. Yeah, they probably will, so I'm just going to move those guys. Okay, let's grab this and this. Great. More tax. We can convert things. I am a fan of that, so I will. Get some more cores going. Great. And what else do we need to do here? Other than simply waiting for imperialism to uh, dismantle. Dude, why am I taking so many stab hits? Come on. That was two in quick succession. Not a fan. Not cool. And we have some more very, very upset uh, dudes here. Minor inconveniences, of course. Let's have you move down here. Let's convert some more stuff. Let's core some more stuff. Governing capacity is hemorrhaging. That's great. It's, it's wonderful stuff. Um, I guess I could spend money to fix that. Oh, and Portugal hates me. Uh, why is that? Trust. And that is because... You're boggling my mind on that one. Gonna have to run that by me once again, Portugal. Why is your trust so low? Is that a trend among nations? Yeah, people distrust me a whole lot. Ooh, what happened to that trend? Yeah, people are starting to distrust me. 
Um, is that because of my... It's not because of this, is it? That would make no sense. Hmm, that's weird. I find that odd. People are very un untrusting of me right now. I know I denied this, which would give me minus five trust with everyone. And I denied, or I pieced out with you, but I, and then I fixed it, right? I fixed that, so there should be no issue. If I did this, they'll stay as my ally. Um, and I'll just do that temporarily while I find some new ones, because it turns out everyone dislikes me, so that's cool. Not sure what really happened there, but... Oh, maybe because I... Did I annex vassals? That could definitely be it. I thought it just decreased trust among vassals, but it could just decrease trust among everyone. That could be it. Don't remember that being a thing, but it doesn't mean it isn't. Huh. Weird. Let's group up all these ships. Oh yeah, completely forgot, by the way, that Byzantium has a ridiculous number of ships. Which is actually probably crippling my... Hey, look at that. 30 ducats from overforce limit. Good lord, we gotta calm down here. Uh, we gotta get rid of some transports. We're gonna get rid of half of these galleys. I mean, look at that. They're all out of date. I'm gonna get rid of all of them. All of those galleys. That should stop my economy from hemorrhaging quite as much. And there's the corruption like usual. Nothing special there. Okay, great. We're gonna have separatist issues like everywhere, by the way. Especially over here in the Mamluks, apparently. We're gonna have some issues. Check unrest generally. Yeah, there's some over here, some over here. Some a little bit down there. Not much, but a little. So we're just going to have you sit here, I guess. Sure. Portugal wants me to fight Malacca. Well, you really could not have chosen another terrible, terrible nation to do that. You know what, Portugal? You're not even worth my time. I'm not fighting Ming again for you. I, I, actually, I've already gotten rid of that alliance. I was gonna say, I'm gonna personally get rid of that alliance. Oh, wait, we're, we're already past that point. But anyways, let me find someone new to toy with. Yeah, I find it weird how even over here they don't like me. Hmm, it's weird. I definitely did something that I didn't notice or, or think about or something. Okay, you guys aren't doing anything, so I'll change that. Go, do something. Okay. Music is also super quiet. Let me boost that up a little. Mamlock's left coalition, great. Manpower is coming back. The economy is coming back. Let me spend a little bit on buildings. You see, okay, so a lot of people ask me about courthouses versus state houses. And I mean, building slots is generally the response I give, isn't it? Because it's like 25% in that one province versus 20%. But generally, there aren't five provinces in a state. Usually, there are less. So it's obviously like, you know, it's a, it's a better idea to take these. Sure, if you have the building slots for them. But I've been using a lot of mine, so I don't know. Don't know if that actually is worth it. Also, it's just the nature of the fact that you can stack them anyway. So. By building one of these... Let me do the math on that one. Yeah, so these are mainly for big cities. And these are mainly for big states. So, for example, I would love to put one up here. Right, because the Po Valley is, is pretty massive. Actually, no, it's not a it's not a full um it's not a full state though. For instance, these places definitely want to build those in there. Um, take a look at say here because it has two building slots. Anywhere with multiple building slots, I'll just build a couple. Build one right here. Build one. Most of my actual state states have built one in. I'll build one right here, too. Because those are where they have the, the largest impact. Is in actual full stated stuff. 
Could also build a couple in these regions, but um, not much place for those. We'll still build them though, because obviously Japan is is a pretty high dev. So, um, and to be honest, the highest state dev I think is still the Po Valley, so I should build one anyway. So you know that's how that is. Um, I think the timer went. I'm not really sure about that one. Did it? Let us find out. No, we have plenty of time left. Well, okay. Let's see what we can do with the time we have left. We'll go and clean up these uh, Mlukin separatists. Lies from Friesland. Hmm. Not looking too strong there, Friesland. I don't know. Let's get some new mortars in the back there. Great. Look for more alliances. People really don't like me anymore. Sort of comes with the whole title of uh, invading everywhere, except for India. I didn't invade them yet. Could if I wanted to. Masters of India is a very nice achievement to take, but maybe not this run. Maybe like a, a proper Dutch campaign. Haven't done one of those in uh, years, I think, actually. In fact, the Dutch campaign was the first actually watched campaign I made, which is nice. Okay, controversy over Chinese rights. Let's look here. Turn that down a little bit. Okay, great. So, so far, contacts between our church and the Chinese have been handled exclusively by the Jesuits. In order to approach the Chinese, the order has learned their customs, their language, and in general trying to be a part of Chinese society. Well, that's very much how it's supposed to work, I guess. With the arrival of Dominicans and Franciscans in China, however, disturbing reports have begun to reach us. It seems the Jesuits are tolerating a very high degree of of non-Christian rituals. So, uh, let's see here. Jesuits are tolerating a high degree of non-Christian rituals. Um, boo -boo -boo -boo. So the Dominicans are supposed to be the ones I'm, I'm supposed to pick, I think. Because they're supposed to be like, no, you can't do that. You must, you must, you must not do any of that stuff. All that, uh, all that non, non, non-Catholic stuff? No, not around here, apparently. At least, I, I think that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm trying to see which one might get Ming to like, just straight out flip, and I don't know if they will, though. Because if they did, again, it'd be hilarious, so I want to try and make that happen, but I don't know which one's actually going to make that work out. Uh, and of course, they've already gone ahead and integrated Tengri Mahayana and Animus, which is great for them, of course, but... Hmm. Might have to ask them to uh, adopt a new religion real quick. Who knows? Maybe, maybe. Fair dealing. Hmm. Empire with colonies and vassals resembles a rowdy family. Okay, we just get a bunch of free stuff with all of our subjects. Very nice. Much appreciated. Okay. We're flip-flopping between having no economy and having an okay economy. I don't know which one I'm supposed to really use here. Or which one's going to be permanent. Sorry, did you just go to war with one of my vests? Uh, did you? That's quite rude, don't you think? You better not draw me into that. I will be furious. I will actually... Uh, as the kids say these days, I will be molding. If I'm called into this war and I have to fight Britain? No, sir. I don't think so. It's not the way we run things around here. Because uh, you exist just to send me very minute amounts of gold to increase my force limit and to be a massive flex on the new world. But that's it. That's all you exist for. So I don't want to see anything around here about... Uh... Oh no, I'm in trouble. Please save me, Pope man. Uh, no, I'm not saving you. None of my business as far as I'm concerned. Okay. So what do we do? what do we got here? I knew. Ooh, that's a big one. That's a big big problem. Cause I have to bring the ships all the way back. 
But this time we're on attack 22, and I don't think it's so bad. I think we can, in fact, just make, like, one big old leap over here, can't we? One big movement. I think that's going to work out just the same. No rivals for us. Big shame. Inflation, sure, whatever. We actually have some pretty fat inflation. I should try to get rid of that. If I didn't have uh, issues of myself or you know my own issues to deal with with admin, I should swap it over to admin. Actually, we're behind on tech. We're not integrating massive things. Oh, but we do get to pick something here. We don't get to pick soul and body, unfortunately. We can go with God and man for missionary and strength. Don't think I need that. We're doing fine. Or I can get church and state, which is practically a plus one. In every single category, which I do like. At least I think so. So these should be free. Yeah, I'm, I'm only getting a minus one here. I mean, my Diplo policies are hot garbage. But, uh, we might be able to get some better ones later on. We also have some random Ryazanian Separatists. Which is cool, I guess. Get rid of these. Um, yeah, we'll have to go and get rid of those. I'll bring one of these guys over. The 3500. Have the Battle Pope do his Battle Pope job. I'll also have these light ships go and protect trade in Sevilla, I think. Be quite nice. Tax it in Florida? No, I don't think so. More minor inconveniences. A bit more of a conversion there. We're really close to coring all that stuff up, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm just going to get these guys to clean up all this. Let me actually, uh, let me, let me have this guy move here. You can turn around. We're going to invade Castile soon, I think. Norway would join? What's Norway going to do? Wait, wait, where's Norway? We're always asking what's Norway going to do. We're never asking where Norway is going to do their thing. Oh, they've been, they've been exiled to three provinces in Africa. Potentially a fourth, there we go. Yes, I'm sure that'll be quite, uh, quite effective. I'm sure. Dude, I like how much this is just doing pretty much fine. It's kind of weird how that works, but sure, I mean, if it if it works, it works. I'm not going to complain. There's a lot of uh, back and forth with all these guys, though. It's a little bit annoying. So you're still moving into here? Great. You're collecting fat stacks. Uh, we accidentally got rid of this guy. Let me just move a little bit of that trade. Not much, just a little bit. You know, five ducats down here. Pretty effective. I have some more separatists over here. You'll go deal with those. I'll give you a leader for that. Temporarily. We can even speed five if we want to. We're waiting on pretty much nothing except for cores. And there's no fun waiting on cores. So these guys are coming over. If I forced Norway to break alliance, which I probably can do, that would make my life easier, wouldn't it? And they would say no. Okay, cool. Because their trust towards me is already terrible. Yeah, I still don't know what that is. Don't know why everyone, everyone and their mother has a trust value of like 1 with me. 23. Looks like the average is, is looking at like 27. That's kind of weird. Still don't know what that is. If they're threatened, does that reduce trust? I don't know. Um, I'll figure it out eventually. Something in my tiny brain will click at some point and I'll figure something out. Okay, we're gonna have, we're gonna have you guys uh, moving to here, I think. And we're gonna start off tomorrow's episode with a brief yet effective invasion of Castile. To try and take as much of this trade as a person can. 
So let me get everyone into position here. We'll get rid of this. We don't need this anymore. We don't need that anymore. That's totally fine. Don't need this. Savoy's left the coalition. Great. I mean, there's a very small potential coalition here. I've been expanding more overseas these days. So, that is what's, what's going on over there. Okay. It's actually a lot of guys. They have... Brazil, of course. And they have Louisiana and Florida. I imagine my colonial nations are no match for theirs, so we'll be losing a bit of war score over there until I eventually bring all my men over to go and siege it down to make sure we can take what we want. For now, though, this is Corbett signing off, hoping you enjoy today's episode, and as always, have a fantastic day. I'd like to give a quick shout out for the patrons for the month of July, especially those we have in the Admiral tier, Ben Greenhagen, Karin Yuli, and Tiger Pop, those in the General tier, Justinian, Brennan Arcano, and Alexander Baker, and those in the Prince tier, Natsuki, Rockbox2020, and TFLJ Martis, and as always in the King tier, we have Chewy Shoot. Thank you guys so much for your pledges, it means a lot to me, you're helping to move this channel forward much more than you know, and as always, I cannot possibly thank you enough.